can say in regards to that topic is that it wasn't one thing or a couple things that led to it. It was more of a culmination over time. And like we said in our statement, standards and accountability are important in our program. And that's, that's all I'll say on that, on that topic. That was TJ Otzelberger today talking about the decision to dismiss Xavier Foster from the men's basketball team at Iowa State. It's not an easy job right now returning the Cyclones to the prominence they once had, but decisions like that have to be made with culture in mind as Otzelberger tries to build the program in his image at a school he loves. It's surreal uh, when you think about my wife having played here, me growing up in coaching, playing here. This is where we want to raise our family. Uh, just really humbling and grateful to be honest because how many people are able to do what they love, where they want to do it with the people they want to do it. That passion for Iowa State is why Otzelberger has been hard at work creating an environment he sees fit for Iowa State men's basketball. It's imperative as you move forward as a program that guys know what your standards are, um, the accountability that goes along with those, uh, what uh, is what's expected and demanded on a daily basis on and off the court because that sets the tone for the future of your program. There are just five players back from last year's roster after the coaching change. One of them, George Condit, knows what it means to be among those returners. Be grateful that you're still here. Be grateful that you're being able to be a part of this team that, that essentially bring, brings back the and, and that's what we've been you know, trying to tell each other and mention to each other, like, yo, know, like, we're going to be that team. we, we got to be that team. Amongst the new faces, there's some veteran leadership as well, like Gabe Kalsher and Isaiah Brockington. Both have played big minutes in the Big Ten. It's really been about getting to know guys first and foremost, uh, you know, not just on the court, but off the court as well. Just getting to know guys' personalities, getting to know their story, getting to know what makes them tick yeah. and stuff like that. I feel like all that uh, comes into play when you're trying to lead a group of guys like this. And Otz can lean on his knowledge, but again, it boils down to setting the tone now and the rest will take care of itself. Been fortunate as an assistant under Greg McDermott, under Fred Hoiberg, under Steve Prohm, uh, myself twice as a head coach to see what year one looks like and understand how important that truly is as you build those habits moving forward. Excited to see what odds can do up there at Iowa State Cyclones open the season at home on November 9th. That's where you'll get your first look at them as they host Kennesaw State. Then they follow that up on the 12th with a showdown against Oregon State in Ames. The preseason poll for the Big 12 should be out soon. I wouldn't expect ISU to be anywhere near the top, more likely the bottom for them, obviously.